सो फेज टू रिएक्शंस दिस फेज टू ऑल्सो नेन इज कंजुगेशन रिएक्शंस क्लियर सो दिस रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्व कंजुगेशन ऑफ द ड्रग और इट्स फेज वन मेटाबोलाइट विथ एन इंडोजिनस सब्सट्रेट यूजली डिराइव फ्रॉम कार्बोहाइड्रेट एमिनोसी टू फॉर्म अ हाईली पोलर आयोनाइज ऑर्गेनिक एसिड विच इज इजली एक्सक्रीटेड इन यूरिन और बाइक सो दिस इज द एम ऑफ द फेज टू रिएक्शन दैट इज इट्स एक्सक्रीशन ओके इफ इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू नॉन लिपिड सोलवर दैट इज आयोनाइज फॉर्म पोलर फॉर्म देन इट विल बी एक्सक्रीटेड इजिली अदरवाइज इट विल बी रीअब्जॉर्ब क्लियर नाउ सो फेज टू रिएक्शन रिक्वायर्स हाई एनर्जी इन कम्पेयर टू द फेज वन रिएक्शन एंड फेज टू रिएक्शन द फर्स्ट वन इज योर ग्लूकोरोनाइड कंजुकेशन ओके सो द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन इज ग्लूकोनाइड कंजुकेशन सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सिंथेटिक रिएक्शन एंड इट इज करीड आउट बाई ग्रुप ऑफ इंजाइम दर इज नोन एज यू जी टी एस ओके यू डी पी ग्लूकोरोनोसाइल ट्रांसफर इज दिस इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ दिस इंजाइम सो ग्लूकोरोनाइड कंजुकेशन इज डन बाई यू जी टी एस इंजाइम्स क्लियर कंपाउंड्स विद हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप एंड कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप आर इजिली कंजुकेटेड विथ ग्लूकोरोनिक एसिड क्लियर नाउ एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ड्रग विच एंड गो ग्लूकोरोनाइड कंजुकेशन आर एस्पिरीन योर पैरासीटामोल डायजेपैम ओके एंड क्लोरमफेनिकॉल सो दीज आर द कॉमन ड्रग्स विच आर अंडर गोइंग ग्लूकोरोनाइड कंजुकेशन ओके now not only drugs but endogenous substrate these are the drugs in some endogenous substrates also get glucuronide conjugation like bilirubin steroidal hormone okay thyroxine so not only drugs not only drugs but endogenous substrate like bilirubin steroidal hormones and thyroxine utilize this pathway clear now next important point that glucuronidation increases molecular weight of the drug okay which favors it excretion in bile by the increasing molecular weight its excretion in bile will be favored clear no problem here now the next one is acetylation so compounds having two group that is either amino group or hydrazine group okay compounds having amino group or hydrazine residues are generally conjugated with the help of acetyl coa okay acetylation of these drugs which are amino group or hydrazine group by the help of acetyl coa will occur and the drugs which is going under acetylation commonly are sulfonamides okay the next one is isoniazid so these are the common drugs which undergo acetylation clear now the next one is the third one is your methylation clear so the methylation in methylation the amines amines and phenols mainly so the amines and phenols can be methylated by methyl transferase enzyme enzyme is your methyl transferase okay and the drugs which are commonly undergo methylation are adrenaline your histamine so these are the two common drug which undergo methylation captopril is also included in this methyl dopa okay the next one is your sulfate conjugation okay so the phenolic compounds and steroid are also sulfated by sulfo transferases okay by the help of sulfur transfer enzyme the common are chloramphenicol here also adrenal and sex corticoids are also sulfated clear the next one is glycine conjugation okay so in glycine conjugation your salicylates nicotinic acid and other drugs have carboxylic acid group are conjugated with the glycine but this is not a major pathway of metabolism clear so these are the most commonest pathway of the phase two reaction also glutathione conjugation nucleotide conjugation there are many ways clear so these are the major ways of the phase two reaction now we will move for the some important points about uh, conjugation so most drugs are metabolized by multiple pathways simultaneously or sequentially okay so um, one drug can be metabolized by many pathways clear now one important point i need to mention here that stereoisomers of a drug may be metabolized differently at a different rates one example is your s warfarin s configuration of warfarin and r configuration of warfarin so s configuration of warfarin rapidly undergo ring oxidation while r warfarin is slowly it is rapidly undergoing ring oxidation whereas r warfarin is slowly degraded by side chain re reduction okay it is undergoing side chain reduction you can easily remember by this r warfarin means reduction so s warfarin is going ring oxidation 
एंड आर वारफेरिन इज गोइंग साइड चेन रिडक्शन क्लियर नाउ नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स एंड नॉन माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल फोकस ऑन माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स सो दीज आर लोकेटेड ऑन स्मूथ इंडो प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ओके बट प्राइमरीली इन द लीवर मेनली इन लीवर सो माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स आर दो इंजाइम्स विच आर इंक्लूडेड इन स्मूथ इंडो प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम प्राइमरीली इन लीवर बट कैन बी किडनी म्यूकोसा इंटेस्टाइनल म्यूकोसा और लंग्स क्लियर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल्स आर मोनो ऑक्सीजनेजेज योर साइटोक्रोम पी फोर फिफ्टी यू जी टी एस ओके एंड इपोक्साइड हाइड्रोलेज सो दीज आर द कॉमन इंजाइम्स विच आर कमिंग अंडर माइक्रोसोमल कैटेगरी ओके मोनो ऑक्सीजनेजेज साइटोक्रोम पी फोर फिफ्टी यू टी यू जी टी एस एंड इपोक्साइड ओके हाइड्रोलेज क्लियर नाउ दी दिस दिस माइक्रोजोमल इंजाइम्स कैटेलाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन मोस्ट ऑफ द रिडक्शन मोस्ट ऑफ द हाइड्रोलाइसिस एंड इन कंजुगेशन ओनली ग्लूकोरोनाइड कंजुगेशन ओके बिकॉज यू आर आई विटन यू जी टी एस इंजाइम इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ग्लूकोरोनियसन सो माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम विल कैरी मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन रिडक्शन रिएक्शन हाइड्रोलाइसिस रिएक्शन बट वेन वी विल टॉक अबाउट कंजुगेशन देन इट विल ओनली डू ग्लूकोरोनाइड कंजुगेशन सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट द नेक्स्ट वन इज द माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स आर इंड्यूसिबल इंजाइम्स ओके इट इज इंड्यूस बाई ड्रग वी हैव डिस्कस नाउट प्रीवियस वीडियो हाउ डिफरेंट आइसो इंजाइम्स ऑफ साइटोक्रोम बज इंड्यूस बाई सर्टन ड्रग्स क्लियर सो दिस इज अबाउट माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स नाउ वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम नॉन माइक्रोसोमल इंजाइम्स क्लियर सो दिस इंजाइम्स आर प्रजेंट इन आइदर साइटोप्लाज ओके और इन माइटोकोड्रिया दिस इंजाइम्स आर प्रजेंट इन आइदर साइटोप्लाज of the cell or mitochondria of the hepatic cells clear no problem now examples which are coming under the non microsomal enzymes are your esterases amidases okay and uh, flavoprotein some flavoprotein oxidases and most conjugates most of the conjugate enzymes are example of non microsomal clear now reaction it will occur it will favor there is the some oxidation reduction reaction along with some hydrolysis reactions okay most of the oxidation reduction and hydrolysis are done by microsomal but some of the are done by non microsomal the important is all conjugation reaction all conjugation except glucoronation because glucoronation is done by this okay microsomal so this is important okay so these are the non microsomal enzyme now next important point about non microsomal enzymes are that these enzymes are not inducible very very important point these enzymes are not inducibles clear not in inducible by any other drugs as in case of microsomal enzyme they were inducibles clear no problem now one important point here i need to mention clinical point that both microsomal and non microsomal enzymes are deficient in newborn most of the enzymes are deficient in newborn especially premature making them more susceptible to many drugs okay so this deficit is made up in the first few month okay first few month and the enzymes which is responsible for phase 1 reactions are uh, made first and then phase 2 reaction clear yeah? so the deficit is made up in the first few months more quickly in the case of oxidation and other phase 1 reaction than in the case of glucuronide and other conjugation which take three or more months to reach the adult level clear yeah? no problem here okay now we will looking for inhibition of the drug metabolism clear yeah? so azole antifungal drugs microlide antibiotics and some other drugs bind to the heme iron in cytochrome p450 and inhibit the metabolism of many drugs clear as we discussed in our previous video that cytochrome p450 was inhibited inhib inhibited by many other enzymes many other drugs clear now one one drug inhibition in, in when we will discuss about inhibition then we will go for the detail of the inhibition competitive inhibition non competitive inhibition here we will discuss some important points about inhibition clear so the first important point which we have discussed in our previous video also that is verapamil verapamil is the drug which undergo metabolized by cytochrome p3 a4 as well as it is also inhibitor for cytochrome p3 a4 clear so on chronic dosing the oral bioavailability okay the bio availability of verapamil on chronic doses is increases nearly doubled and t half also get prolonged because of its inhibition of its own metabolism because it acts as inhibitor of its own metabolism also so this is the important point which may be asked the next in case the drug inhibits in own metabolism the oral bioavailability is likely to increase i have given the example that is verapamil clear okay 
now a drug may also inhibit one isoenzyme while being itself a substrate of another isoenzymes one example i have given here cunidine cunidine is metabolized mainly by cytochrome p 3a4 but it inhibits cytochrome p 2d6 so it is an example of those category of drug we inhibit one isoenzymes and being and itself being a substrate of another isoenzymes clear no problem here okay now now we will go for one more important point about uh, hiv protease inhibitors okay one more important point about okay so we give low dose ritonavir okay we give low dose ritonavir and it inhibits your cytochrome p 3a4 isoenzymes okay and inhibition of this will lead to decreased metabolism of other hiv protease inhibitors like atena sorry atena vir lipon oh, sorry sorry lopina vir okay so this ritona vir will inhibit the this isoenzyme and inhibition of this isoenzymes will not affect the metabolism of this because they will be escaped from the metabolism so low doses of this drugs can cause its effects clear because right now where is inhibiting this isoenzymes clear so this is coming under boosted hiv protease inhibitor strategy okay we have boosted the effect of these drugs by giving low doses of right now to inhibit this clear so this is one of the most important clinical point about isoenzymes now metabolism of drugs with high hepatic obstruction is dependent on liver blood flow also clear